It's a pool of seawater. You'd think that it'd be a bad idea to have a pool inside a library on account of the moisture. But I guess magic makes everything possible. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. How are you today, then? Like you care. Do you know the island of Elias? The vacation paradise of the ancient Del Mari? Certainly. How do I get there? It's near the Briston Atoll, but boats rarely travel directly to Briston from Marcuria. You'd have to travel via Guienne. Can you give me a lift to Guyane on your ship? There are three problems with that scenario. Number one, there's no wind, so we can't set sail south. Number two, I lost my navigator a few weeks past, and I have yet to find his replacement. And number three, you're a woman. We don't let women on board the White Dragon. Isn't that a bit sexist? Sexy is just what I worry about. What with a boat full of men being out at sea for months at a time? Not sexy, sexist! I'm a sailor, girl. What do you expect? Good bedside manners? Bye. Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. Do you know the island of Elias? Aye. I be knowing lots and lots about the feared Isle of Elias. It's feared? How? Because... because... it be a place of cannibals! You really don't know anything about the island of Elias, do you? Uh... no, I do not. See you later. If I not be dead, I...
talking bird. I'll make a trade with you. My screwed... My magic wand for one of your prizes, and then I'll leave your game alone. What's the catch? No catch. You get a screw... Magic wand, and I get one of your exotic prizes. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Which prize would you like? It's an important choice, so I'll think about it before I decide. Very well. But honor our agreement. And for the love of the balance, don't sell that magic wand to anyone but me. It's a talking bird. You still interested in a trade? My script Magic wand for one of your exotic prizes. Which prize would you like to trade for? I haven't decided yet. Very well. It's a talking bird. It's a map of the Northlands. I'm supposed to deliver this to, uh, Tunlyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. Hello? I have some more questions. Shoot. I don't... Very well. Thanks, Mr. Always a pleasure, April. Hello. Appreciated if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. Do you know anything about a god that fell from the sky into the sea? Of course. You find fallen gods most everywhere these days. They're an air and a hand. Really? No, of course not. There are no fallen gods in the sea. It wouldn't make much sense, would it? If the sea was full of gods just lying about the seabed. So you've never heard of such a thing happening? Now you got it. Bye. It's just a boring old non-treasure chest. Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. Do you know how I can get passage on a boat going south? Aye, coin be the way, as me beloved wife always be saying. Of course, she'd be running off with a wealthy merchant while I'd be away at sea. Women, never trusted one I didn't pay for again. I don't have much coin at all. And I'd be at a loss, as do ye, unless... I need coin to travel in a boat, unless... what? Unless I be calling in a favor with the good Captain Horatio Nebeve, who be traveling to Gayen as soon as the wind be picking up. What kind of favor? Oh, he be owing me from back when I was his captain. Would you cash in your favor with Nebeve if I got your bird, bird back? Aye, I be promising anything to get me friend back. It be a deal. 
See you later. If I not be dead, I... You still interested in a trade? My script Magic wand for one of your exotic prizes. Which prize would you like to trade for? The talking bird. <laughs> that scraggly he put A fantastic choice, young lady! Hold on a second and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice, and I really, really mean that. So, you're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God. Is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. No, oh, no, no, hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah? So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance. Yeah? Yeah? So... No, oh, forget it. So were you always just bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been Bird. My full name is That Damn Bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That damn bird, the old man would say. No good ball of feathers! Then he beat me with a stick. Really? Uh, no. He'd just stick me in the chest and forget the chest get about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you Crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me Crow? That's a pretty good name. It's a proper name, at least, not just an insult. Anyway, I guess I'd better get you back to your master bird. He's pining for you. All he's pining for is coin to gamble with. It's really none of my business. Business, sorry. Oh. <laughs> sure you are.
Here's your bird. Bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. Bird, blessed be the balance, me faithful friend and companion be back. No, 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 not back in the chest, not in the chest! Ah! 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 Now can you help me get passage on a ship? Aye, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. Ayr. Hello. Uh huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? Aye, he be a good captain once. But ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once. And I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. I'll be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. I am? That could prove a little tricky. How come? For one, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. Clax, I believe his name is. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator, and my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. But, okay. Let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? <laughs> you think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jaws pus filled left eye, if you do such a trick, then I. I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Most likely they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind. As long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? It's been deserted for hundreds of years. Ever since the Dolmari fell victim to the Great Plague. I need to visit the Elation people to listen to some of their stories. As if there aren't enough stories here. It takes all sorts, that be for sure. Some kind of cattle, but not the kind of cattle they breed in Kansas. Those monuments? They're enormous, like man-made mountains. I wonder what they are. What they...
Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Vesperian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning Robin Redbreasts. Twins, did you know? Not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past twenty years. I guess it is you. Of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? No, oh, funny. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? How about a nice to see you, Crow? Or I've missed you so much, Crow? Or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, Crow? It is nice to see you, Crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. Yeah, <laughs> boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. The old man was gonna gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup's handler after the, uh, celebration. So, I decided to split before they put me back in the cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ugh, pooey, duh, don't, ever. So, I pecked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird zone adventure. It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides, I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest. And let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry. But wait a second. I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. You play your tune, and I'll consider your request. I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier hawk. Deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's... trouble. <laughs>